you want to find some more unique styles for your mid-journey images and AI art, today I'm going to share with you some methods you can use to extract and find unique styles in mid-journey. Now first I'll touch on a few obvious points when it comes to discovering these phrases. One is I do actually sit down and come up with ideas and try things out in mid-journey and just spend time testing out my ideas. Two, I actually run a Trello card that if I ever have any ideas while I'm on the run, I grab my phone, pop it open, pop that idea into a card and then try it out during one of these sessions later on. But I have a more detailed way you can test some things out, which I'm gonna go through right now. now. This first one I don't use a lot, but it's definitely one that you might find useful is, I go into the Midjourney website and under explore, I scroll down until I find an image which looks interesting such as this one here. So if I click on this, and I wanna give a shout out to this user, LJL8101, because they are they're the person who come up with this prompt. But essentially, they've got this long prompt here, and it's just a bit too long to really define a style, although you can use it as a bit of a template, change a few things around. But essentially, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this text, I'm gonna pop it into Notepad. So I've pasted this into Notepad and straight away I can look at this prompt in detail. I want to remove the subject of the photo, but I also want to remove any words that are more descriptive and less style based. So we get down to the nitty gritty of just the phrases that could be used as styles. So straight away I've got a prompt that I can try. But what I'm actually gonna do is not just try the prompt. I'm going to go copy, head back to Mid Journey's website, Go to create, and I'm gonna type up the top here, something simple like a man outside, comma, and then I use permutation. So I add in a curly bracket, paste. I remove that last comma and add a curly bracket at the end. So with permutations, anything you add between curly brackets separated by commas will be broken up into several different variations of a prompt. Now, because of my plan, I can only do up to 10 phrases at a time, but whatever is separated by commas here will basically be turned into a prompt. So a man outside, image of a Chinese immortal will be one prompt. And anything in the curly brackets gets broken up. So a man outside, Chinese Tang Dynasty costumes. A man outside, ancient Chinese painting, you get the idea. So I basically want to count, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I want to, I can add two more ideas in there as well. But for now, I'll just leave it as it is. And permutations work both on Discord and in the website itself. So I'm gonna hit enter and you'll see they've all started. We've got our prompts here, image of Chinese immortal, Chinese Tang Dynasty costumes. We can see all of these and I'll give it a bit of time for it to create these images and come back and see the results. So after a minute or two, you can see we've got some styles that we can use pretty much straight away. Image of a Chinese immortal. You can see here how it's kind of given it that painted look. I can zoom in have a look at each one individually. And I would say that is a, a style that you could use. Move up to Chinese Tang Dynasty costumes and we still get the costume look. Not really an image style, but definitely a style of subject. We move up to ancient Chinese painting and now you can see we get a very definitive style there. White drawing is not quite what I expected. That's actually pretty good too. Black and white manuscript. This is a very interesting style that I think worked out pretty well. Then we've got meticulous painting, just looks like a normal painting, still pretty cool. Brush tracing, we get very interesting style from brush tracing. And this is just simple background. I'm gonna exit out of that. You can see we've got a picture of a man, simple background. So, so that's like the first method of breaking down some of these styles. So you see how simple it is to use the Midjourney website to make discoveries like this. Now, if you do break apart someone's style or someone's image, I would recommend if you're sharing it online, just give them credit. And uh, that way you're showing the due respect for that person who wrote the prompt. But also this isn't one I've used a lot, but I've always known it was there as a resource. And I wanted to cover it first because it's just right there, nice and simple. But the next technique, is to use describe and a few other tools for the same process. First of all, I found this image here on Pixabay, which is a free download, and I can actually use this image as part of what I'm going to do to discover that style. And there's more than just using permutations, but you can use permutations for this method also. I'm gonna to go to download. It doesn't need to be super high resolution. I head over to Discord and I type in slash describe. I hit enter and it wants me to add an image or a link, but I've downloaded an image, so I click the image icon here. I select my image, open, then I hit enter. And you can see here, it's created four different prompts that we can try. 
what I'm going to do is imagine all of them. And now we have our four image prompts ready to check out. And we can do this with all of these prompts, but we're just going to pick one. These all don't look identical, but if we like the style we see, we can work with it. So you can see these are all slightly different. I do really like this last one. So also I can, once again, simply copy the prompt and do permutations again. Swap out the subject, add in a curly bracket, remove a few words I don't need. And even we have some colors here in a rather long phrase. What I might even do is copy this phrase here and then paste it again to kind of isolate it from those colors. I'm gonna keep the aspect ratio and we're just going to add a curly bracket to the end. So in the style of artist Richard Hescox, who I haven't actually heard of. So I can do the permutations again if I want to, but I'll share another technique in a minute. We've got four prompts, we click yes. Now again, you can see we've actually got some pretty good results with this longer phrase, yellow, red, yellow, blue, black, gray, and white in the style of street art and graffiti pop culture, a longer phrase. And we've got here the background full of graffiti. So we've got the elements we want in one, the style in the other. When I remove the color and we get in the style of street art and graffiti pop culture, we lose that painted effect and it becomes a photo in front of graffiti, which is interesting. And the style of Richard Hescox does have a style applied to it that if you like, you can use, but it's not really what we were after. Now, there's nothing stopping you from combining these styles. And again, I'm going to touch on this other one in a sec. But if I move up and I copy this prompt right here, type in imagine, paste, and I come down because I really like these graffiti elements, I can copy this, go just before my parameters, hit comma, paste, although we've got two commas. And now I can combine those two to see if I get an even better kind of combination of those two styles. And this is instance, we've still got the photo. So it looks like the original style is probably the best, but this first one doesn't seem to have anyone in front of it. So we still get that cool style. But at the end of the day, this one here is pretty good. So I can pretty much take this prompt, change the subject to the eye of a warrior, hit enter, and we've got an image a bit closer to what we want. And again, if we don't like those colors, change the colors here. So neon colors with gray, white, and the style. Hit enter again. And by changing some of the colors around, we've been able to kind of workshop this new style here. I really like that top one. So we could basically run, we can keep this on file for the future. We can even use prefer option set. So type in slash prefer option set and create a shortcut to use this style if you wanted to as well. And to show you how that works, basically we go slash prefer option set, click option, we give it a name and call it G neon. I click here, add a value, paste that in, hit enter. And now we have G neon as a value. So I can type in, imagine a dog flying dash dash G neon. And you can see here it's added the full phrase in after using dash dash G neon. And we have some pretty cool little dog images that we can use with that style phrase. Now, if you haven't already, check out my Mid Journey style pack. Over a thousand styles you can apply to your Mid Journey prompts to get some pretty stunning images. It comes with a handful of PDFs of different styles and categories so you can quickly find what you're after. And there's a link in the description. Now back to the video, but let's scroll back up to our images we got from Describe. This time, we'll work with this image. I'm gonna show you a different process now. We're gonna copy this prompt. Copy. We type in slash shorten, paste, enter. Now shorten is great because what it does is it removes, first of all, it removes the less impactful words. So if I look at say this one here, we can imagine number one, you can see the style has kind of gotten a little bit dirtier, but at the same time, we're on a style discovery sort of trip here. So sometimes you're not gonna get exactly what you want, but you might find something else. Once again, just part of the process of discovering new things. So I like this and I can start to break it apart if I want to, but I can go up and see the shorter ones. We've got side punk eyes and a few bits and pieces. Even this last one, this may be a good style, or maybe even we just say cyberpunk and the artist's name. So John Mitchell, I don't know how to pronounce that, but I can type in, imagine a man outside, comma, cyberpunk and the artist's name, hit enter and check out the result we've been able to get. Again, I hit remix, change the subject to a dog flying. And remember, if you don't have remix mode turned on, type in slash settings, turn on remix mode. I'm gonna hit submit. 
And you can see we've got this really cool image style with the dog in it. So the idea is a sim simply to find different methods to discover prompts and keywords. You could use ChatGPT if you wanted to as well. And you wanna just isolate certain styles or certain parts or phrases, even combine some and test them out to see what kind of images you get. And again, once you find one you like, try a few different subjects and you can test it out and see just how consistent that style is. But don't forget, you also have, type in imagine a man outside and then we type in dash dash SREF random and hit enter. We can start to discover style codes as well. But I also want to mention that I do have a page dedicated to style codes on my website. And if you want to scroll through and find something you like there, that could be another handy way to find some cool style codes that you can try in Midjourney version six. Now, while style codes are pretty cool, I still recommend coming up with phrases because it will increase your vocabulary and give you more consistency as more Midjourney models come out. Whereas style codes, you may lose that style as you go. But here is another thing you can do. If we have this image here from our style reference and our style code, for future reference, we can click on it. Where it says open in browser, we're gonna right click and copy link address. Now you can also just download this image and use it the same way. But once again, we can go back into describe and because I've copied the link, we go link, paste, enter. And now we can go through this process again but we have an image from a style code. So it's kind of like trying to decode the style code itself. Click imagine all. And again, we can pick an image we like. Straight away, I can see four panel Japanese cartoon creates a cool panel look. So you can tell straight away by reading it, that's what we're looking at here. But we can find the one we think looks the best. I think this one. And I'm gonna go through that same process again and just quickly skip ahead. And now we check out the results. We have a man outside, four panel comic, and this is actually looks pretty decent. Even just simply an orange and red color palette is used, has given a really nice effect here. This looks like a painting, even though it just says the style is reminiscent of certain artists. So I wouldn't say this is a strong style, but it is consistent. And we've got in the style of Tatsuro Kiyuchi. And four panel Japanese cartoon. Now that actually looks pretty cool. And again, Hayao Miyazaki, don't know if that's how it's pronounced. So you get the idea from there. But also, I highly recommend if you can find some kind of note-taking app on your phone, I use Trello, which is more of a job card system. Anytime you see something interesting, either take a photo with it or write down any ideas you have and then eventually pump them all into mid-journey using permutations. Now, my final tip, if you wanna test out a style properly, again, I really like this four panel Japanese cartoon. So I'm gonna copy that, go to imagine. I'm gonna hit paste, but I come back before the comma, put my curly brackets in and I try a few different subjects. So I've got here a woman's face, the Incredible Hulk, Batman, the Terminator. I'll even type in a warrior. So I have four different subjects with one style now and I can see how consistent that style works across the board. I'm also gonna change the aspect ratio and let's check out the results. So you see here, the results are pretty cool. Not all of them are split into panels, but there is a Japanese cartoon style, but some are also split into panels and look pretty impressive. And some of the art styles are a little bit different and it's just a unique style altogether, simply by having a bit of a play around with some images that we found or by using style random. There's a few different places you can turn to when it comes to looking for prompts as well. If you're looking to dissect other people's prompts, again, there's things like social media, hashtag prompt share. My Instagram, I share the odd prompt here and there. I'll also pop a link to that in the description. But I'm also gonna pop a video on the screen right now. This will give you several different places that you can find mid-journey prompts to try, dissect and look for styles and have a lot of fun in the process. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, have a great day and I'll see you next time.